Just the always do this after painting the layer of gouache where I can't decide if I want to create the lines with paint or with colored pencil and I feel like every time I do it with paint I regret it but let's see let's see what happens
he says these are eco-friendly and com compostable, compostable, however you say it. So I'm hoping that they are, you know, quote unquote eco-friendly. But if they're not, then, or if I find out that they're really not, then don't be too hard on me, please. over there um, it's Sunday um, May some May 23rd yeah it's the 23rd I am ready to finish what I started as far as like my prepping for my shop update I decided I would try to print greeting cards of my of one of my recent designs and it went awful. I had a lot of bad prints. I eventually, you know, I got it down, wrote my little specs up here, so I wouldn't have any more problems. For some reason, it printed out like the crappy test prints. So I had just a bunch of crappy quality. Well, not, I guess it's not terrible, but it's just, it doesn't look how, how, um, it doesn't look as good as the one I had thought was was gonna be set in stone, but whatever. I tried a couple more test prints, and again, the same thing happened. So I was just like, whatever, I felt defeated. I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna, you know, package these up 
and sell them as seconds because I just don't want them to go to waste. Like they're still really nice, they're so cute. This isn't what the art really looks like. It has a cream background and my printer just doesn't print. It does not want to print um, borderless on these cards. It always prints out with a white border, which I, I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't want to buy those or give those to anybody. So yeah, I was getting really frustrated with that. So today, this is going to be my first 8x10 print that I'm going to be selling on Etsy. So I think I'm just going to print out like a handful more of these, like not too many. Oh, I also need to print, like I need to cut out the, what is it called, the cardboard pieces for the back of this because it's still a little too flimsy. I'm going to do that and then put them in the rigid mailers and weigh them to see how much, you know, how much everything is going to weigh and how that's going to play into the shipping costs because this is like a technically a new it's gonna be a new size for me, so the shipping's gonna be a little bit more. And then I need to take um, product photos.